Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I've uh, got multiple objectives uh, to accomplish. Uh, from recording data, to trusting new bullets, uh, to testing a new magazine, uh, to testing a new camera uh, with a windsock on it. Hopefully that'll work out for you. So stay tuned folks, uh, get back here and get to the shooting and let you see the rest of it. I am kind of a movie buff and sometimes there's uh, phrases or words in a movie that kind of stick with you the rest of your life. Uh, you know, one is Clint Eastwood saying, man ought to know his limitations. Uh, John Wayne saying that a man ought to do what he think is right. Uh, and then from Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, it's not a code, they're more like guidelines. Well, all of these things kind of apply to today's uh, shooting. I'm garnering information uh, to put in my ballistic data uh, chart. If you, I encourage all of you to do this if you have the capability to put those things in because it gives you guidelines, if you will, on what's going to happen with the external ballistics of your, of your projectile for hunting. All right, so I've got the target set up at 100 yards. Uh, we're going to go ahead and shoot, and hopefully uh, I've never shot these bullets, so uh, I hope it doesn't make me look too foolish. Uh, got the camera on down there. Uh, just a brief overview. This is my 6.5 Grendel. I brought out the 20-inch barrel today because I also ordered a compensator for it. So I also wanted to test what the difference between no compensator versus the compensator that has not yet come. So, there's the target, let's get going. Boy, the heat is coming up fast, so uh, we're gonna fast forward a little bit, hurry up, get this done. Uh, these three shots, uh, now keep in mind, I haven't shot these bullets before, so we're gonna see what happens. Here we go. So what do you say? Uh, come up one inch and to the right one inch. Okay, well at least I have the data that I need and I hope you saw that. Alright, so let's go back and to the house and enter that data and I'll show you a comparison between uh, the 6.5 Grendel using 107 grain and a uh, 120 grain and the 243 uh, and let you see the ballistics and why I do all this work up and how it might help you to prepare for your next hunt. So hang on folks. Okay, basically the reason that I have these ballistic charts is to be able to measure the data that I've already garnered by working up loads and determining what type of rifle, what type of platform, what type of caliber, what type of bullet powder combination that is going to meet my needs. Uh, where I'm going to probably be hunting is for deer and shots can be anywhere between 100 yards and 500 yards. So I need to have absolute, absolute confidence that when I pull that trigger my maximum point blank uh, range of measurement is four inches above my aiming point and four inches below for the bullet trajectory. That gives me an 8 inch window, which as most of you know is about the size of a heart lung uh, type of area on a, on a large deer. So I have these charts up here, we're going to go through them in just a second, one by one. It'll probably tell you which, uh, uh, or give you an idea of which caliber I will probably be choosing to do that deer hunt with. So let's go over them one by one. 
Okay, let's go over this data real quickly. On this side of my gun cabinet, I have the 6.5 Grendel using a 107 grain tip game king. On this side, I have a 6 millimeter arc using a 105 grain Hornaday boat tail hollow point. And on the lower section here, I have my uh, 243 uh, 20 inch barrel with a 95 grain SST. So let's compare these rifles based upon what I'm preparing for for my hunting trip. Now again, ballistic calculators are very helpful, but you have to first gather all the data to do the inputs for each one. For example, you need to know the grain weight of the bullet, the velocity, the ballistic coefficient. You need to know all your environmentals as far as humidity, altitude, temperature, pressure, wind, your shooting angle. Uh, you need to have all of that data that you've gathered by all your shooting uh, out on the range, especially the velocity. Okay. So once you have all that, you can put it in there and now what parameters am I looking for as a hunter? Well, first of all, uh, you know, what type of terrain am I going to be hunting and what is my approximate shooting distance uh, will be anywhere between 100 to 500 yards. So I need to have a bullet that's a hunting bullet that's going to be able to harvest that animal at those distances. Well, I do have some measurements here. Uh, for the 107 grain uh, tip game king in the 6.5 Grendel, my maximum effective range as far as, as energy is concerned is 400 yards. But not only that, I have a bullet drop of 29.4 uh, inches at 400 yards. Now, maximum point blank range is defined as four inches above your aim point and four inches below your aim point for an eight inch target, which would be your heart lung uh, point of impact or point of aim on a deer. All right, so you can see that at 13.1 inches at 300 yards, I'd need to be slightly higher on my aim to be within that eight inch window. All right, the same is with the arc. The arc at uh, 500 yards drops 49.4, drops 27.5 at 400, but at 300 yards drops 12.4. So again, my point of aim would be approximately three inches higher. Or I can simply go sight in at the range three inches above zero at 100 yards. Uh, and then that would skew these numbers to get me within that 8 inch maximum point blank range that I'm looking for. All right, let's go to the 243. The 243 was a surprise here compared to the others. Uh, it drops below uh, a thousand foot pounds of energy somewhere between three and four hundred yards. You can see that 1134 at 300 yards. Uh, 965 at 400 yards. Now this is with 14 grains more powder in that uh, in that cartridge. Uh, that's kind of surprising. But my maximum point blank range is approximately the same at 300 yards. Uh, the Grendel was 13.1, the Arc was 12.4, and the 243 is 12.1. So it's flatter shooting, uh, even though it might provide uh, lesser energy, it's a flatter shooting cartridge uh, because of the speed, 2910 versus the others.